Hi. We are continuing solving problems based on polynomials. In this video, we are solving problems based on relationship between zeros and coefficients of a polynomial. So let's move on to problem solving. The problem that we have in hand is if the sum of the zeros of the polynomial px square plus 5x plus 8p is equal to the product of zeros, find the values of p. In this question, we have been given a polynomial and we have been told that the sum of the zeros and the product of the zeros is equal. So these two things are given to us. And what do we have to find? We have to find the values of p. So using this information, let's see how to solve this problem. For the polynomial px square plus 5x plus 8p, the sum of zeros can be written as minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square. Now, what is the coefficient of x in our polynomial? It's 5. Therefore, the numerator becomes minus 5. What is the coefficient of x square in our polynomial? It is p. So, the denominator becomes p. So, the sum of the zeros is equal to minus 5 upon p. Whereas the product of the zeros is given by constant term upon coefficient of x square. The constant term in this polynomial is 8p. So the numerator becomes 8p and coefficient of x square which is p in this case becomes the denominator. Therefore 8p upon p wherein we cancel out p we get 8. So product of the zeros is 8. Now they say the sum of the zeros is equal to the product of the zeros. The sum of the zeros were minus 5 upon p and the product of the zeros was 8. Therefore equating both we get minus 5 upon p is equal to 8. Therefore p is equal to minus 5 upon 8. Let's move on to the next question. It says find the value of k if the quadratic polynomial x square plus 8x plus k has zeros whose difference is 2. Let's analyze this problem. It says that the quadratic polynomial is x square plus 8x plus k. That means they have given us a quadratic polynomial and they have given us an information which says that the difference between the two zeros is 2. That means if alpha is the bigger zero and beta is the smaller zero then alpha minus beta is equal to 2. So they have given us these two informations. Using these two informations we will try to solve this sum so that we get the value of k. So now let alpha and beta be the zeros of x square plus 8x plus k. So sum of zeros is equal to alpha plus beta which is given by minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square. Coefficient of x in our polynomial is 8. Therefore the numerator becomes minus 8 and coefficient of x square in our polynomial is 1. Therefore the denominator becomes 1. So minus 8 upon 1 which is equal to minus 8. So sum of the zeros of this polynomial is equal to minus 8 and the product of the zeros which is alpha beta is given by constant term upon coefficient of x square. In this case the constant term is k and the coefficient of x square is 1. Therefore k upon 1 is equal to k. So here now we have to find the value of k. And let's see what do we have with us. We have alpha plus beta is equal to minus 8 from equation 1. We have alpha beta is equal to k from equation 2. And we have been given that alpha minus beta is equal to 2. So which expression will give us the value of either alpha or beta or both? Right, such an expression is alpha plus beta plus alpha minus beta. We have chosen this for two reasons. One is because we know the value of alpha plus beta in this case 
and we know the value of alpha minus beta in this case because both we've got from equation 1 and 1 is given to us so if this information is with us and the second reason is if we solve this we will get the value of alpha so let's see how to go about doing it now if we open the bracket we will get alpha plus beta plus alpha minus beta is equal to minus 8 plus 2 so plus beta and minus beta cancel out so we get 2 alpha is equal to minus 6 so alpha is equal to minus 6 upon 2 alpha is equal to minus 3 so if we know that alpha plus beta is equal to minus 8 and we know alpha is equal to minus 3 substituting that in the equation we will get beta is equal to minus 5 and alpha beta is equal to k so minus 3 which is our value of alpha and minus 5 which is the value of beta when multiplied together gives us k so minus 3 into minus 5 is equal to 15 so the value of k in this uh, polynomial is 15 let's move on to the next problem it says if alpha beta are zeros of a quadratic polynomial x square plus px plus 45 and alpha square plus beta square is equal to 234 find the value of p let's analyze this question they have given us one quadratic polynomial which is x square plus px plus 45 this is one piece of information that we have the second information that we have is alpha square plus beta square is equal to 234 so we have two pieces of information with us using these information we will solve the problem let's see so alpha and beta are the zeros of x square plus px plus 45 so the sum of the zeros which is alpha plus beta is minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square the coefficient of x in this case is p so the numerator becomes minus p and coefficient of x square in this case is 1 so the denominator becomes 1 so sum of the zeros is equal to minus p upon 1 which is equal to minus p let us keep this as equation 1 or point 1 now product of zeros is equal to alpha beta is equal to constant term upon coefficient of x square in this case the constant term is 45 so it becomes the numerator and coefficient of x square which is 1 which becomes the denominator so 45 upon 1 which is equal to 45 so the product of zeros which is alpha beta is equal to 45 let us keep this as point 2 so now we have alpha plus beta is equal to minus p from equation 1 and alpha beta is equal to 45 from equation 2 and alpha square plus beta square is equal to 234 is given to us now we have to frame an equation in such a way that we get the value of p and we can use these three equations so what is the equation that we can use we can use the equation alpha plus beta the whole square equals to alpha square plus beta square plus 2ab if you remember the uh, formula of a plus b the whole square which is a square plus b square plus 2ab we have used this formula over here where a represents alpha and b represents beta so now in this equation we have the value of alpha plus beta from equation 1 we have the value of alpha square plus beta square from given and the value of alpha beta from equation 2 so after substituting we get minus p the whole square is equal to 234 plus 2 into 45 using equation 1 2 and the given information on further solving we get p square is equal to 234 plus 90 so p square is equal to 324 now 324 is the square of 18 therefore p is equal to plus or minus 18 so the value of p is plus 18 or minus 18 if you want to see 
some more problems based on polynomials, visit www.pledstude.com.